Nothing wrong with the challenge, but a whistle from Arnold Hunter. Crosses, strong end for Quigley! And the away goal, instant for Sherman Brothers! Oh, Quigley just pulls away in between Bernard and Carrie. And what a finish, terrific finish. Almost fell perfectly in his path. Well, Stewart is there as well, and it won't go to extra time now! And Rovers have made it! A night of history for them! The first side to lose the first leg, and still go through! Yeah, this killed off. I think it's uh, David Ogilvy. Chambers to the left. O'Connor to the right. Hit a long bit. He's ever hit, and it's one of those. I'm not too sure about this. It's a all, the, all the great work of the previous hour or so. Billy Dennehy sends it long again. He lots of other options around. It's come all the way out to Rice. Oh, it's in there, and it's another big deflection. Long from Rice, and went in on Derek Dennehy. Shepard Rogers had the away goal, and was set for extra time. One more than that. Yeah, as I just said, when you've got a set piece like this, you're not too sure. 
Well, it was moving about like a pinball. So many bodies in there. Somebody tries to get a foot to it. And I think it's, it's jumped in here, actually. Well, possibly the last chance for, for Rovers. But if it stays like this, well, you have to say that uh, Cork have deserved it. They've been a better side tonight by far. Last week, look at the tactics right. And, uh, 2009 was the last time Cork City beat Shamrock Rovers. And since they returned to the top flight, they've not managed to pull it off. It's one of their old heroes, Billy Dennehy, over this. There's many who can't watch this. Through a lot of bodies, you know, Mark McDonnell, similar to Barry Murphy, and that man. Finish. Cork City.